All the adversity I've had in my life, all my troubles and obstacles, have strengthened me. You may not realize it when it happens, but a kick in the teeth may be the best thing in the world for you. When you believe in a thing, believe in it all the way, implicitly and unquestionable. Movies can and do have tremendous influence in shaping young lives in the realm of entertainment towards the ideals and objectives of normal adulthood. I would rather entertain and hope that people learn something than educate people and hope they were entertained. Our heritage and ideals, our code and standards, the things we live by and teach our children, are preserved or diminished by how freely we exchange ideas and feelings. Animation can explain whatever the mind of man can conceive. This facility makes it the most versatile and explicit means of communication yet devised for quick mass appreciation. Disneyland will never be completed. It will continue to grow as long as there is imagination left in the world. I love Mickey Mouse more than any woman I have ever known. I have been up against tough competition all my life. I wouldn't know how to get along without it. I don't like formal gardens. I like wild nature. It's just the wilderness instinct in me, I guess. Animation offers a medium of storytelling and visual entertainment which can bring pleasure and information to people of all ages everywhere in the world. Of all the things I've done, the most vital is coordinating those who work with me and aiming their efforts at a certain goal. I'd say it's been my biggest problem all my life. It's money. It takes a lot of money to make these dreams come true. I never called my work an art. It's part of show business, the business of building entertainment. Whenever I go on a ride, I'm always thinking of what's wrong with the thing and how it can be improved. I have no use for people who throw their weight around as celebrities, or for those who fawn over you just because you are famous. When people laugh at Mickey Mouse, it's because he's so human, and that is the secret of his popularity. Mickey Mouse popped out of my mind onto a drawing pad 20 years ago on a train ride from Manhattan to Hollywood at a time when business fortunes of my brother Roy and myself were at lowest ebb and disaster seemed right around the corner. We have created characters and animated them in the dimension of depth, revealing through them to our perturbed world that the things we have in common far outnumber and outweigh those that divide us. People still think of me as a cartoonist, but the only thing I lift a pen or pencil for these days is to sign a contract, a check, or an autograph. Crowded classrooms and half-day sessions are a tragic waste of our greatest national resource, the minds of our children. I try to build a full personality for each of our cartoon characters, to make them personalities. We did at Disneyland in the knowledge that most of the people I talked to thought it would be a financial disaster, closed and forgotten within the first year. Animation is different from other parts. Its language is the language of caricature. Our most difficult job was to develop the cartoon's unnatural but seemingly natural anatomy for humans and animals. I started, actually, to make my first animated cartoon in 1920. Of course, they were very crude things then and I used sort of little puppet things. It's no secret that we were sticking just about every nickel we had on the chance that people would really be interested in something totally new and unique in the field of entertainment.